The Senate shall stand adjourned. Sine die until the hour of 12 p.m. Tuesday, January 3rd, year of our Lord, 2017, or until called into extraordinary session by the Governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Another legislative session has come and gone. So what happens now that the final gavel has fallen? The Kentucky Constitution calls for the General Assembly to meet only 60 business or legislative days during even-numbered years, like 2016 or 2018, and 30 legislative days during odd-numbered years, like 2017 or 2019. The Legislative Research Commission was created in 1948, allowing legislators and their staff to handle the people's business year-round. So now lawmakers can meet during that interim period between sessions to focus on three areas the past, the present, and the future. They look back at laws that were passed in previous years to make sure they're working as expected and are meeting the needs of Kentuckians. They review programs, contracts, and administrative regulations that are currently in effect to make sure they're efficient and above board. And they look ahead, working on issues that might be considered in future legislative sessions. The interim is defined in statute as starting on June the 1st and concluding on December 1st of each year. During the interim, standing committees from the House and Senate join forces as interim joint committees to look at issues under their jurisdiction. For committees like Education and Judiciary, that's pretty straightforward. But for other committees, several topics may get lumped together, like the Interim Joint Committee on Veterans, Military Affairs, and Public Protection. Now, in addition to meetings, uh, the staff will be conducting research along with legislators. Legislators will direct the research, and then staff will carry out the research as directed so that if a legislator comes to ask, ask us about a, a new program that they've heard about in Oregon, we may already know about that program or we'll at least know where we can go to get that information uh, in pretty short order for the legislator. Other committees and task forces set up by a statute or resolution meet for a specific purpose and sometimes for a specific period of time, like the Government Contract Review Committee or the Tobacco Task Force. Those committees are not allowed to essentially veto or those contracts, but they can voice an opinion on them and perhaps put in play a process that might put a stop to them. Uh, but those duties are spelled out in statute. Bills can be drafted during the interim, and they're called bill requests, and are considered to be pre-filed. While they can be discussed, no action can be taken. On the first day of the next session, all pre-filed bills are officially introduced and given their appropriate House or Senate bill number. Now the bill can be acted on. But having discussion during the interim and pre-filing bills greatly streamlines the legislative process during a session. So there are all different kinds of committees and meetings that will continue to take place during an interim. And this serves as a bridge from one session to another, allows for the development of ideas, research, for the General Assembly to see, did we do something right in the last session? Or was there something that we need to make some minor changes to in the next session to improve upon what we did in the last session? Or are there other issues that we need to prepare for so that we can be better educated when the next legislative session starts? And it's important to remember that Kentucky's lawmakers work part-time. So the interim also gives them a chance to earn a living at their full-time jobs and to spend some quality time with their families. We invite you to subscribe to our channel. You can do so by clicking on the Capitol Dome icon below. And if you'd like to leave a message for your legislators, you can call the toll-free legislative message line at 800-372-7181. And to find out more information about the Kentucky General Assembly, visit the LRC's website at www.lrc.ky.gov.